Sugatra. Today, we will continue Chapter 3, Logical Reasoning, Part 2. In this lesson, we will try to achieve two objectives, which are the first one will be construct and compare the two of the value of converse, inverse, and contrapositive of an implication. And the second objective will be to determine a counterexample to negate the truth of a particular statement. Now, what exactly are converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the statement? Let's take a look of the implication given here. If x is a positive number, then x is greater than 0. Where in this case, x is a positive number, is known as the antecedent, and x is greater than 0, is known as the consequent. In general, for you to write the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of a statement or implication, you may refer to the following rules. Right, the original statement given to you, or the original implications is, if x is a positive number, then x is greater than 0. Where x is a positive number, you can label as p, or the antecedent, and x is greater than 0, you can label as q, or the consequent. Now, for the converse, it's pretty simple here. You only need to switch the position Q and P. Originally, you have if P, then Q. As for the converse, you need to switch it to if Q, then P. In this case, your converse will be if X is greater than 0, then X is a positive number. Next, in this in this is actually the negations of an implication. Originally, you have if P, then Q. As for the inverse, you will have if not P, then not Q. In this case, you will have if X is not a positive number, then X is not greater than zero. And the last one will be contrapositive. Contrapositive is the negations of converse. For covers, you have if Q, then P. As for contrapositive, you will have if not Q, then not P. And in this case, your contrapositive will be if X is not greater than 0, then X is not a positive number. In order for you to enhance your understanding on what are covers, inverse, and contrapositive, you may try to do the mind stimulation tree on page 67 in your textbook. Next, we will try to determine the truth value of an implication, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. In order for you to determine the truth value, there is one rule that you have to understand and follow, which is, the true value for a statement, converse, inverse, and contrapositive, will always be false when the following condition meet, which is, when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false, happen at the same time. Then truth value for your implication, converse, inverse, and contrapositive, will always be false. Other than that, everything will be true. Let us look at the example given here. Determine the truth value of a statement, converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the implication if x squared less than 0, then x squared plus 3 is more than 0. Remember again, when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false, happen at the same time, then your truth value will always be false. For a statement, if x squared less than 0, then x squared plus 3 is more than 0. Check the antecedent first. x squared less than 0, which is false, because the square of a number is always positive. Now you check the consequent. x squared plus 3 is more than 0, which is true. Since the antecedent is false and the consequent is true, then the, the truth value for this statement is true. Why? Because the statement will be false only when the antecedent is true and the consequent is false. Other than that, 
the truth value will always be true. Look at the converse of the given implication. If x squared plus 3 is more than 0, then x squared is less than 0. Check the antecedent again. The antecedent here is the x squared plus 3 is more than 0, which is true. And the consequent is x squared less than 0, which is false, since the square of a number is always positive, so it cannot be less than 0. Now, since the antecedent is true and the consequent is false, then the truth value for this is false. Inverse. If x squared more than or equal to 0, then x squared plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Check again. The antecedent is true, whereas x squared is more than or equal to 0, and the consequent is false which is x squared plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Since your antecedent is true and your consequent is false, then the truth value for this inverse is false. And the last one will be contrapositive. Again, check the antecedent, which is false, and the consequent is true, so your truth value will be true. Try answering self practice 3.1e question number 2 from your textbook in order to test your understanding on how to determine the truth value for an implication, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Next, counterexample. What is counterexample? Counterexample is done only for false statement. It is actually an example of proof in order for you to negate the original false statement. For a true statement, you don't need to give any counterexample. Let's take a look at the example given here. Determine the truth value of the following statement. Give one counterexample to support your answer. Remember here there are two questions asked. First, you need to determine the truth value. Second, you need to give one counterexample in order for you to support your answer. Question number one. All polygons have diagonals. First, this is a false statement. Since this is a false statement, you need to give one counterexample. And the counterexample you can give is false because triangles do not have diagonals. You are given proof here stating that original statement say all polygons, whereas you knew that triangles are also polygons, but triangle do not have diagonals. Second, all multiples of 10 are multiple of 2. This is a true statement. Since this is a true statement, you don't need to give any counterexample. And the last one will be, if y more than 6, then y is more than 9. This is a false statement. False because y can be 7 and 8. Since the first condition say y is more than 6. But then, you have another condition say y is more than 9. But 7 and 8 is less than 9. Since 7 and 8 doesn't meet the second condition. Now, this statement is a false statement. In order for you to practice on understanding the question, try answering self practice 3.1f question number 1 and 2 from your textbook. Now, let's recap what we have learned in this lesson. The first one will be, you know what are converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Once you know what are those, then you can determine the truth value of statement, converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Next, you know what is a counterexample. And at the same time, you know how to write a counterexample. I hope this lesson benefits you, and I hope you can understand the lesson well, and good luck.